In times of a natural disaster, people can often be in desperate need of help, and that's where the organization Eight Days of Hope comes in. And now, this group set up a new home right here in Buffalo, and as 7 Eyewitness News reporter Justin Moore tells us tonight, the group is already serving some devastated communities. We got our house back. And that's all we can be thankful for. It's been more than a year since Del Dio County's home in Wyoming County flooded. The disabled Desert Storm veteran credits eight days of hope for restoring his home. No words could then or pay them for what they have done for us. Eight Days of Hope is an organization Steve Tiber and his dad started following Hurricane Katrina in 2005. At the time, the Buffalo native was living down south in Mississippi. My dad calls me on the phone and says, hey Steve, let's go help somebody. Since then, the Mississippi-based organization grew to nearly 5,000 volunteers. Eight Days of Hope has remodeled and rebuilt nearly 3,000 homes across the country damaged in natural disasters. Now the Christian nonprofit is making Buffalo's east side is second home. But we just want to be a glimpse of Jesus to people who, who feel like they've been forgotten. The organization is using this vacant 100,000 square feet Kensington Avenue building. It will allow eight days of hope to respond quickly to natural disasters in the Northeast, including snowstorms and floods. Last night, we sent a bunch of people and equipment down in Pennsylvania, and we're there right now serving flood victims who have no means and no ways to, to take the water out of their house. Eight Days of Hope is also opening up the facility to other Western New York ministries. If you're a ministry in Buffalo and you're just launching, come see us. We have 20 offices. We'd love to talk to you about possibly utilizing one of these offices or some of this space. Eight Days of Hope is about one thing. We love and serve people. On Buffalo's east side, Justin Moore, 7 Eyewitness News. After